This cow has just come in and she's incredibly lame on this front right foot. This is cow 843 and as you're just about to see, she has a huge hole right in the bottom of her foot. Guys, this is the Hoof GP. Enjoy the video. If you don't have sharp knives, don't bother trimming. The job is three or four times harder and you'll never make as good a job. This is how we start almost every day. We get the knife sharpener out and sharpen every knife that is on our crush. Working with dull knives isn't fun, you don't make a good job and it is far, far more productive for the cow if your blades are as sharp as can be. <laughs> this cow has just come in and she's incredibly lame on this front right foot and as soon as we pick it up maybe not immediately obvious what the problem is, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be major. Mm. So there is a huge cavity here on her foot, and it's not actually hurting her for me to put the finger in there. It's going to be interesting to see exactly what's going on. It's funny, you know, when you trim a cow's foot like this, you kind of drift away into your own little world, just concentrating on the foot and the matter in hand. Kind of like this music. When you get to this stage in a trim like this, you're starting to realise that a hole like that is going to need cleaned out and she's going to need a block. So we dress up the right hand claw and start to wind down the grinder in preparation for the next stage. So I can feel underneath this part of the horn, it's actually starting to get close to the flesh, which means we won't get enough height off this to get it all of the way onto here. So we need a block. Manuel. Locks at the ready. This is a crack in the white line. Some people would call it white line disease, or white line defect, but nevertheless, it is a crack right up the white line of this cow's foot. And that can be caused by nutritional imbalances, big changes in nutrition, or it can be caused by the environment. So cows twisting and turning. Out in the grass plains, there's no need for cows to turn tight corners. So their feet are not designed to be able to do things like that. And when they do, it pulls, tears and contorts the white line or the outer wall horn away from the interior of the foot. And problems like this happen. Throughout the process you're about to watch, you're going to see a substantial amount of blood. That blood was actually already beginning to form as soon as I cleaned away the manure from the lesion. But I do my very, very best not to cut into any live flesh or tissue whatsoever. But working on an area like this, you're going to aggravate the lesion slightly. And that is what's causing the blood. After all of this trauma happening to this cow's foot, it might surprise you at how she walks out of this crush. I'm trimming away all of the sharp and loose edges around the problem area, but I am not trimming back that proud flesh. We just have to make sure there's nothing that's going to catch on it or really irritate the area, preventing new horn growth. That this cow's foot will heal up fantastically well. The pad.
Even though she has a block on and she has a substantial lesion to that inner claw, it's really important to model out a cow's foot. If you're not modeling out a cow's foot, you're going against every professor, doctor and veterinarian pretty much in the world. You see, there's a sharp projection towards the rear inside of the pedal bone and that projection bears down on the corium, insulting it and causing ulceration. Cows in the wild, left to their own devices, never suffered from problems because of this, because the ground that they were walking on had give. Today's animals are living on hard concrete, so it really, really does matter, whether it may seem like it does or not. Today we're dressing this foot with salicylic acid and iodine. Salicylic is one of the main ingredients in aspirin and things like bazooka that veruca, which is what we're talking about in the background. Before we trimmed this cow, she was in serious pain and she really didn't want to put her foot on that ground at all. As soon as she steps out of the crush though, she realises the block is really relieving her of that pain and she's able to put some pressure on it at least. So we'll be revisiting this cow in four weeks time. Cow 843 will be far more comfortable straight away, but we don't want it just to be a bit more comfortable. We want to heal her completely. So that is the aim of the game. And on that note guys, I'm going to leave you with this clip of this cow investigating the dogs. Much to Steve's hesitance. Guys, thanks very much for watching indeed. I'll catch you in the next one and make sure you've hit the subscribe button so that you can follow this cow's progress. Yeah, come on, darling. In your bed. <laughs>